Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play King Arthur, the tactical role-playing war game. I'm your host, Strategic Jordan, and we're just about to continue the main quest. Just one more turn, and we wipe out East Mercia. Alright, let's go. Yes, my liege. Mm, could I actually? Mm. Ah, I might as well. Attack. Oh shit, I actually could reach him. Shit, let's battle. I didn't know we were already there. Shit. Never forget to use the advantages of the given terrain types. Got it. Got it, good. Ah, oh, man, I've just been so... I don't know, I've been depressed lately. You know, been a real... Been a real slump. Just sad and didn't want to make videos. Trying to, trying to make myself better. Oh, shit, I forgot it's wasped. Like all good strategy games are nowadays. Cavalry. You will not be engaging. Archers, you guys... Archers, archers, I'm remembering you guys got a fire at will. Let's, uh, let's set, yeah, let's set you up over there. That, well, at least we're going to get this, so that's all right. I love my archers. They so overpowered! One of the few things the second game did right was uh, depowering them. Or upping the armor for the others, I guess. I mean, you might actually get to goddamn melee once in a while. Oh god, they summoned Trista! They didn't move at all. Why should they? Seriously, they're so powerful. Even when you even when you use the weakened archer option, they're still ridiculously powerful. It's kind of mind-boggling. Yeah, one more turn. I hope they don't get another army. That's my case. That'd be annoying as fuck. Ready to see. You actually make that? No. Damn. Yeah. Oh shit. Bedigrain Forest seamlessly blends into the wilderness that covers the middle regions of Britannia. On certain nights, beautiful lights and eerie music disturb the silence. But in some villages around the forest, children disappear in the middle of the night. The peasants whisper about a mysterious smiling prince. Who is this man, and what does he want? Oh, that was weird. Oh, so many fucking quests! Yes, my king. Let's refill the ranks. Yes, my lord. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, accept the invitation. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? You have arrived in the manor of Duke Kenilred. It's a small castle with a few outbuildings 
The Duke welcomes you with heartfelt words that introduces you to his daughter, Abigail. He asks you to escort her to the court of King Arthur, where she will become a lady in waiting. Uh, yeah, let's ask about the lady. Abigail is a beautiful and proud Welsh lady. What the fuck is she doing all the way over here if she's Welsh? The peasants and the common folk love her because of her. She is widely known for her good heart and the way she cares for the old and chic. All right, let's go. Yeah, that 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 was that. That was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're already married. Uh, what was she offer? She's corrupt. I put Skype on Do Not Disturb. How can you be corrupt and just? I, I don't get it. I don't know, but Ready apparently you serve. can. Go, go away. I put it on do not disturb. How is this happening? Also, I should get rid of you. Cancel recruit. Oh my god. Yeah, disband. They're, they're a Christian unit. I don't want that. Those guys. I'll take one unit of you and one unit of you. Good. Right. East Mercia. Who gets it? Let me look. Land around you. King Mark owns you. Sir Gareth owns you. I think Sir Gareth. Yeah, Sir Gareth owns that. All right, I think I get it. Yeah, King Mark only has one province, so we'll give it to him. I'm starting to remember my demise plans. Oh, right there. Good. Ready to serve. All right. Dagonet. Ah, uh, that could wait. It, On my way. Let's go, let's f let's finally get back to the main quest. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, it wasn't your army I uh I screwed over. It was that guy's. Right, begin! You arrive at the court of the Saxon King, who tells you that his nephew is being held prisoner by Sir Caradoc, a knight of Wales. If you can rescue the young man, he will offer to ally himself with Arthur. He knows that Caradoc was last seen around the village of Peeves in Mercy. Excuse me? Mercia! You begin your journey to the village where Sir Caradoc has been seen. In but a few days, you reach the border in Mercia. Your scouts report that you saw some horsemen head on road, probably waiting for you. Uh, we're a good noble knight. When you get closer to them, one of them steps forward and nods. Greetings, sir. I am Ferris, follower of the old faith. I come to help you against Caradoc. Oh. Uh, how do you know that I have to deal with Caradoc? A knight of the round table arrives at the court of the Saxon king, right when his nephew was kidnapped by Caradoc. Even without my spies amongst the Saxons, I could have easily guessed why you are here. I thought you were with Caradoc and the other Welshmen. With the return of magic, many people turn to the old faith to exploit its power. They have infiltrated the royal court in Wales. Their influence grows steadily. Caradoc is the rabid dog of these druids. I can't help allow such a man to work in the name of my faith. And what can you do for me? Caradoc's army is aided by a druid whose magical power has decided the outcome of several battles already. If you fight them, I can keep him from using his might. I ask one thing in exchange. Kill Caradoc. Okay. After you accept the offer of Ferris, you continue on your way. A few days later, you arrive at the village of the, the Saxon king mentioned. 
Several houses have been burned to the ground, and there's blood on the ground. It seems Karadok was here. Let's visit the houses. Try to see help survivors. Uh, you look everywhere for survivors. In the cellar, you find some people in torn garbs, mostly women and children. They're terrified. I calm them down and ask what happened. Well, that's be obvious. They calm down a bit and start to talk. Some strangers came to the village a few days ago. They killed the people and torched the houses. They must be a small party from the army of Karadok. They are raiding the nearby villages and scaring the people. A while later, you find the fresh tracks of the raiding party, and you hear from them from far away. You venture a bit closer and see that there are about two dozens of them, all drunk. Uh, spare the surrendering ones. You charge into the camp. Some try to resist, but they fall, and the others surrender. After the battle, your men bring a prisoner to you. He says that they allow, they follow Karadok and are, raid, are raiding for supplies. The main army is heading north and will reach Brigandine within a few days. Why? The prisoner tells you that Karadok can travel, can travel along the mystic she paths. These open inside the fairy forest of Bettergrain, and you can travel huge distances on them in mere hours. That's why they are going to the forest, so they can quickly go back to Wales. Well, let's get going! Uh, you order a force march, and you manage to get ahead of the enemy army. The envoy arrives with messages. I gave my word. Attack! Lots of Welsh units. And lots of knights and winter breed. He's got more morale than me. But I well I was gonna say we're more experienced, but we're about even there. I just slightly outnumber him. Ooh, I love the King's Guard, they're so cool. Look at it. Or is that the Royal Guard? They're two kingly units. King's Guard, which are cavalry, and I think. Uh, one's cavalry and one's infantry, and these are the infantry ones, and they are so cool! But they're rightful Christians, so I will never get them. Sucks! Oh god, it is, it is raining bad. Okay, let's get the cavalry on our... Uh... Okay, let's position the cavalry. Right there. Oh, did lightning strike Caradoc's troops? Oh, no, no, no. He's over here. He's... He's actually in better position than he should be. Nice. Actually, both of you come on over. And I forgot to set you guys on fire at will. Man, this condition is horrible. I'm scared of that lightning striking my troops. That would be bad. I can't tell, Britannia Cavalry or who is the light, I don't know. Alright, we have to move the infantry line up. God damn it. Somewhere where they'll be well in undercover. Um. 
run, please? God damn, these weather conditions are horrible! Oh god, my my archers just got a melee. Those ones. And this is almost a wrap up. Well, that cavalry really fucked up Gareth. this it's a hill what is it the tree is, is the tree that's important maybe or the enchanted spring uh, that that's not a spring that's a tree I just noticed the coke bottle next to me has a smiley face and staring at me it's creepy This sets a war off with the um Welsh. None of my armies are in position. That's not good. Hmm. Let's hope the war doesn't kick off immediately then, huh? I, I could lose my cap. I could lose Camelot on the next turn. Shit. Uh, I didn't think that went through. I got them all. Yep. The fall of Sir Caradoc. You have defeated Sir Caradoc, the evil knight in service of Wales, and stopped his rampage in the war torn provinces. You have also rescued the nephew of the Saxon king Redwald. Who was a prisoner of Caradoc, infamous for capturing defeated knights. The Saxon king is very grateful and could be a powerful ally. In addition to this, the nephew, Sir Alfred, would like to join the knights of the round table. Okay, so I got a secondary army yes, here now. King. Or secondary. You know, whatever. This opens up a lot of possibilities. I want at least two cavalry. Hey, I got Saxon Raiders. And Huskarls! Fuck yeah! I love Huskarls! I didn't know I got them. Fuck, give me, give me that. Give me some Saxon Raiders. Your name's not Aswan. Oh. Yes, my liege. I'm sad now. On my way. And we gotta get you back to Camelot. Okay, uh, you'll deal with that. I'll have to move you two immediately over. We're, we're, we're at war, everybody! We are at war with Wales, a military super giant. There's two of them. Saxony, or Saxony. Uh, what, would, what have you called this place? The Kingdom of Norfolk? The Sa just the Saxon Kingdom? I don't know. And Wales. This is going to be hard. I, I'm i not sure who's the tougher of the two. I mean, 
Saxony, you could attack from all sides, but it's easier for them to reinforce their territories. Where Wales, these mountains mean they have only set paths they could march their armies through. So like an army here has to go around or around. They can't use this place. So it takes up their movement and it takes them longer to get anywhere. But it means that we'll have a longer time and most of their villages are over here. And along with their capital, we have to go a long way around. It's like, that's half a year just to get to... If we start over here, take half a year just to get to their capital. It's it's a problem. So eat, both of these are tough nations with great heroes. And I'm not in any position. I, I kind of hope the war would wait at least one turn. Oh, my old faith. I'm never going to get it. Oh, that sucks. I like the old faith. The old faith is awesome. Oh, well. That's all for this time, everybody. I'm your host, Strategic Jordan. Next time, we're probably going to lose our capital. Woo! See y'all next time, guys.